Hi guys, uh, I'm Andrew Boltz. Uh, I am part of the ENME 351 class. Uh, this is my ENME 351 project. Uh, for my project, I decided to do Morse code. Uh, the inspiration came from the fact that, you know, through our classes, we're uh, exposed to, the, to our uh, interactions with uh, coding, um, making uh, codes and whatnot. Um, and I wanted to look at how different like software packages would like interact with one another and how like different codes would interact with one another. So uh, through this process we'll be examining uh, two, uh, two different Arduino codes that uh, interact together as well as a processing code that interacts with the second Arduino. So uh, let's take a look at what's going to happen. Alright, for our first step, so we'll uh, start with the user input. Um, the I'm not using through this code a predetermined uh, script that will be running through the system. So I, ha I have a user going into the first Arduino's uh, serial input monitor and entering a character. Uh, the characters that I have coded in are A through Z uh, in lowercase, uh, 0 through 9, uh, period, question mark, exclamation point, and of course space. From there we go to the uh, first Arduino. The first Arduino then converts this key into an ASCII code and then matches this ASCII code with its predetermined LED pattern. Um, from there, it then outputs the um, LED pattern to an LED in the, uh, the circuit uh, using a, uh, a dot to be 100 milliseconds on, 100 milliseconds off, and a dash to be 200 milliseconds on. From there, we run into the uh, second Arduino. The second Arduino is hooked up to a photocell, which will sense the light pattern uh, associated with the first Arduino's LED. Uh, it then converts the photocell's uh, codes into a 0 and 1 pattern. Uh, and it keeps track of the last three entries. Uh, if the last three entries uh, resemble the SOS code, it will then use a servo to raise a flag uh, demonstrating SOS. Uh, it then outputs the data to the serial monitor for processing, and um, it has a standby mode that if no data is available to be taken into the uh, code, it'll just uh, illuminate a green LED, just saying that it's ready. The last step in this process is processing. Uh, the processing is a fairly simple code. Um, basically, it's extracting the data from the uh, second Arduino serial monitor, and it splits this data into an array of integers. Um, from there, it takes these array of integers and goes through and compares it to the um, codes associated with each character, and then prints this character that uh, the code is signifying to the screen. Um, in the end, what you can have is you can have a document type format. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, components we'll be using. Uh, for starters, this is Arduino 1, uh, this is Arduino 2, and then Arduino 1 is controlling an LED light that is within inside this box. Um, I've encased it in a box just so I can control the amount of light that's being exposed to it and get uh, non-variable readings. Um, Arduino 2 is going to be controlling the photo cell, which is also with inside, which is taking readings from the Arduino 1's uh, LED. Arduino 2 also controls a buzzer, as well as a standby light, which is the green LED, and in addition to that, it's also controlling a servo. Just to look inside the box, as you can see quite clearly, there's a red LED butted up against a uh, photo cell. Uh, the red LED, again, is controlled by the first Arduino, and the photo cell is controlled by the second Arduino, which is taking readings from this LED. This is just a demonstration of what's going on inside the box. Um, basically, we're going to have the red LED light up, the Arduino 2 sense this light up, and then have a response through its buzzer. So if I enter an A, you see the light up, and then you see the buzzer go. But if I enter an S, you see the different code light up and the different code come through the buzzer. Alright, so here's a demonstration of the circuit working with each of its uh, circuit components as well as uh, the, the codes and processing. So if I were to input the phrase, hello world, you should see a response of H-E-L-L-O. -L -L the response I coded in for space, W-O-R-L-D. And for the heck of it, let's just throw in an exclamation point. So, here it goes. So here's H. Next up is E. L. Another L. O. Space. W. All right. 
Hang shut up. W. O. R. L. D. And of course, the exclamation point. And there you go. So remember, I said earlier, that if SOS is entered into the system, there will be an actuation associated with it. So here's that actuation. S. O. S. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed putting the codes together as well as processing and making the circuit. If you have any additional questions, just feel free to ask.